right, good morning everybody. Um, my name's Louise Ballard and I'm, I'm going to be talking to you about um, AI, AI for AI. Um, and I'm also here, I think, to champion the older founder, uh, the older founder who's taking AI and applying it, or taking their life's knowledge and applying it through using AI. So I'm going to be talking a bit about um, our business, Athene, which is an AI coach. We coach, it, we use AI to coach people how to use AI better. Why do you say that? Well, because I think what the moment we've got is a Ferrari that people are taking to the shops. We're not unlocking the productivity that we can, um, and that's why we are seeing these types of figures at the moment. Um, so I think a lot of money being spent on AI projects, on getting everybody to have the tool, getting everyone to have the login, but adoption is more than a login. Um, being able to use it for more than an email or to dabble a little bit, um, is not going to move the needle when it comes to um, productivity gains or the whole change in literacy and fluency that we're going to need to see over the next five years. So I think Anthropics um, a, a year ago, um, earlier this uh, year, said that uh, for only 4% of users are actually embedding AI into their day-to-day -day work. That is a tiny, tiny amount because most people um, are, have a go, don't have time to learn it and move on. So this is a, a, human, a human challenge, and that's what my co-founder and I, we know about. We are, uh, our, our background is in communications, in, in, in behavioral science, in uh, human capital, and we understand how humans work, and that this is actually a, a human problem, a change management problem, for us to be able to unlock these huge figures um, with bog-standard generative AI. So we have developed a, a tool called Athene, um, which is um, a platform. Uh, at the heart of the platform is an engine where we have taken all of our experience and we have created a setup for you that turns your ChatGPT into your personalized coach. And around that, then, um, it, it allows your AI skills to be embedded into your real work. So you don't have to do extra courses. You don't have to do anything else other than use your ChatGPT, and it will teach you as you use it. And at the same time, we'll give you other uh, specific coaching. Uh, for the businesses, it tracks um, impact. So businesses are able to see, finally, the ROI on their investments. Um, and we can, use, we, can, we can track it with any tool. Why are we unique? Well, it's that prism, it's our prism mechanism which we have developed over the last year. Um, we, it, it continually adapts. So if you can't imagine what this is, don't be surprised. Ten seconds. Don't be surprised um, because it is something that's never been done before in the same sort of way. We do have, uh, we're at MVP stage, we are, um, we're growing really quickly, um, and actually an investment bank re recently said, um, this is exactly which every company is going to have to go on um, when we spoke to him. The next, it's all about humans. Jensen Huang says it, Reid Hoffman says it, and we are looking for uh, 500,000 to be able to scale the business. Um, we already are almost there. So there we go. I think I've done it. <laughs> great. Minutes. Big sweet time. That was a great pitch. Already, questions? Yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you very much. Um, I could not agree more. It's a really important uh, area that we need to address. How do you keep up to date with old AI developments? I work in big tech. I have a really hard time to, to like follow like all the things. That we use we use AI to keep up to date, <laughs> and that's why it's, and that's why it, it's yeah. a complete change to traditional education as well. Yeah. So we're saying we use AI to keep up to date so that you don't have to, yeah. and it's completely tailored to your role. So the teaching is if you're in marketing, it teaches you, it prompts you how to use ChatGPT or Claude to be able to use it in your everyday job. So we're using AI in everything that we do to tailor it to you. Mm -hmm. So first of all, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm impressed because you, you said you have been or you are a teacher and now you're teaching <laughs> AI. So I think that's a that's a wonderful career um, decision you've, you, you've made. Um, in terms of who are, who are your customers? Is it a B2B product? It's a B2B product. Um, actually, interestingly, this is almost one of the challenges that we have because anybody can learn how to use it. So um, SMEs and, corporate and larger corporates as well. Larger corporates are a little slower, but they need to be able to understand how their staff are going to be up 
uh, upskilled because everyone's going to need to be upskilled. There is no integration that's required. This sits on top of their tools, so it's very easy and quick. So we see it a little bit like a Slack that can quickly be adopted by teams, and all the evidence is showing that it's teams that adopt tools that are specific to them, and it comes from the bottom up. It needs the top down to say, go ahead, uh, but it comes from the bottom up. And then SMEs, who, can, who are much more agile, obviously, and who can take these tools and then start to, to leap over um, their larger competitors. But we have a freemium model as well, so that, I mean, part of my personal mission is that nobody gets left behind. So this is also so that anybody can have access to basic AI literacy and to learn how to use the tools. I understand. It's, can you dwell a little more on how you integrate that in corporate software infrastructure? Are you integrating that in, in Slack, in Teams? What, what's the plan over there? There is no integration required. It is a web app. It's a web, uh, it sits on your browser. Um, and um, within that, there are um, you, you fill out a, um, a questionnaire which gives a configuration for your ChatGPT. So it then we take all of our knowledge and say we are going to teach you through your ChatGPT. So you have to, um, but if you have access to ChatGPT, it moves you on to ChatGPT. So it is it's like your hub of tools. It's where you have uh, information about how to use it, what to use. There is some learning on there, but it's much more about mindset than less about technical. It's about taking people on this journey. But any corporate can take it on without any type of integration. All righty, our time has run out, sadly. But thank you so much for pitching. Not an easy thing at a conference, but it was great to have you here. Thank you.